Did you know that more than 70 million people use computers and internet connections in public libraries? And 62% of libraries report that they are the only source of free internet in their communities. How does this public institution continue to transform with today's digital age? Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Courtney Young who is the president of the American Library Association. Courtney, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. You know, I was uh, raised to believe that libraries are the intellectual hub of a community. Not only do you go there the, for the photocopying, but you go there obviously to take a look at a book. You also go there perhaps uh, in most incidences in some communities to get access to the internet or to get access to the internet or perhaps maybe to do some word processing. That was in the 1980s. Is that still the case here in 2014? Well, we're continuing to evolve. Of course, those services are still available, but we're continuing to evolve as information, as you've noted, has changed as well. And so, obviously, online information and the Internet is of increasing importance. And so libraries are really becoming uh, digital learning centers in communities by providing access to the Internet, um, providing uh, information so that people can learn how to do things and better themselves, um, as becoming resources Sources that um, providing those services and programs that really support uh, what you could think of as the five E's uh, employment, entrepreneurship, uh, empowering people, uh, and engaging them in their communities. So it sounds like libraries have always been and will continue to be a facilitator, if you will, not only of ideas, but also in terms of skills and making sure that every single person, regardless of their income, regardless of their background, at the very least has access to the internet. Now it may not be 24 hours, seven days a week, it only may be a couple of days out of the week, but at the very least giving them that basic access, which thus in the process hopefully gives them the tools to be able to compete in American society. Absolutely. Um, as you noted, the access will certainly vary from library to library, but there are libraries where the if the Wi-Fi is on, people are still able to get access to that Wi-Fi outside the building when it's closed so that they can complete assignments, um, so they can fill out uh, forms to get the apply for the jobs that they need uh, to get the benefits that they need. Courtney, do you find that it's uh, older people that perhaps may not be connected to the internet or perhaps maybe need the extra resources that a library can provide? Is it young people? Is it all over the map in terms of the age? Is there a specific demographic? It's definitely all of the above. Um, in libraries, we're seeing senior citizens come in to use the library to learn how to use the mouse, um, to learn how to use the internet so they can see pictures of their grandchildren um, and also to apply for benefits. Uh, we're seeing teens come in so that they can learn how to use uh, software to uh, maybe complete assignments to edit video for uh, class presentation. Uh, we're seeing job seekers come in to apply for those jobs that they can only do online in most cases, create their resumes. Uh, really, it's, it's all over the map and that's the great thing about libraries is that they're good for everyone. To this use. is an odd question but I feel like I have to ask it. Do people still go to the library to check out a book? Absolutely. Um, people actually uh, circulation of books continues to rise and we're still uh, purchasing books in their printed format just as we are uh, electronic books and so providing access to that information no matter the format is important. So it sounds like libraries are doing what they've always done is you know one foot in the 20th century perhaps and another foot in the 21st century and bridging that gap between those two centuries literally and figuratively in terms of technology. Absolutely it's incredibly important for us to continue to provide all of those services because um, our users span and want all of those resources. And for the benefit of our of our viewers that are watching at home, uh, for any other individuals out there, we got about 20 seconds left. What can we do as a society, Courtney, to help public libraries? Well, in addition to going into your public library, and getting that library card, absolutely, and getting your <laughs> library card. Um, you know, libraries uh, rely on funding um, from the federal government, and so making sure that you advocate for that funding so that libraries can continue to buy those books, uh, those electronic books, to provide those courses that are necessary, so that people can actually take a benefit the internet, those Court the internet resources. Courtney Young, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.